what's going on with the Carolina Panthers? We had Christian McCaffrey on at the Super Bowl, and I said, are you rebuilding? And he said, yes. Yeah, you know, I think I think that's where all the signs are pointing. Um, you know, obviously nobody's going to come right out and say that. That's kind of the taboo world, the taboo word of that world. But, you know, I think they're fortunate. They do have a lot of good players still. You know, guys like Christian, obviously, we'll see what happens with Cam. If they bring him back, they'll always have a chance. But, uh, but if I if I said let me let me listen to let me hear from analyst Greg Olson, not former player, what do you think Carolina should do at the quarterbacking position? It depends. If they want to win, I, I think it really comes down to is the organization content on not winning this year to improve draft draft capital, future draft picks. If you don't want to win, then you don't bring Cam Newton back. If you want to win and you want to compete from day one, then you bring Cam Newton back. So I, I think it really – it's a super easy decision once they make their – you know, once their philosophy and their approach is settled. And I don't know whether that has been or not. But once that is, I think then the decision with Cam really just – marries up with whichever path the organization wants to take for the 2020 season. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I feel the same way. Just because they came out and said, you know, we want him back, I, I don't think Cam's going to be the starting quarterback for Carolina when this season starts. I just – I, you're gone. Luke Keekley retires. Uh, Cam, we're not sure about. New coach, new offensive coordinator, new owner in there. Just feels like – Time for sweeping changes, and McCaffrey you're not going to get up, uh, get rid of, so you kind of build around him. But I, I just can't see Cam as the starting quarterback. Yeah, which is unfortunate, but as I kind of alluded to at the end of the season and I kind of saw the writing on the walls it pertained to me, sometimes change just leads to more change, and it doesn't mean it's good or bad. It, it just it is. And, uh, you know, if they're gonna if they're going to start fresh on all those other things, Maybe they decide that it's time to start fresh on everything. Um, but, again, we won't know until that decision is made. And I don't know when that – you know, I've, I've kind of obviously lost a lot of insight and, you know, a lot of the people that, you know, we had kind of grown with that organization through the last nine years have kind of moved on to other places. So I wish those guys nothing but, you know, great success. I have a lot of respect for Matt Rule. I had a chance to spend a lot of time with him over the last, you know, his first couple of weeks on the job. and was really impressed with his vision and his his expertise in, in building things and whatnot. So I think those guys will figure it out. Uh, I just, you know, I don't know if anybody understands right now the timetable that they're operating on. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.